Let's have a look now at moving through our project drawings. What we're going to start looking at is working with the project manager and also the drawing list. So at the moment, I'm in the contents drawing. Now I can just go and click on drawing to there and it'll open, no problem at all. But if I've got lots of drawings, I don't want to have to keep going up and down all the time. I might do that individually, but I might want to just toggle through the drawings. Now up on the quick access toolbar, you'll notice I've got the arrows there, next drawing. Click on next drawing, opens up drawing number three. Click on next drawing again, opens up drawing number four. Now you need to be patient. Some drawings might be quite complex, which means they might take a few seconds to load up when you're toggling between drawings. These are very simple drawings that I've got here, and they're still taking a couple of seconds to load. If you've got a very complicated drawing, it can take some time to open up. So what I can do there, I can go back again, toggle back up the list if I want to as well. And you'll notice in the project tab, I've also got the option previous drawing, next drawing. So I can do that. Or what I can do is just double click on a drawing and it'll open it up like that. Navigating your drawings, you'll also notice here, I've got tabs at the top where I can move through the drawings. These are really nice. Now you'll notice the tabs only give the actual name of the drawing. You'll notice there's no sheet number on the tabs there. There's my IEC control drawing. I can go to layout one like that. There's the layout tab for that drawing. If I hover over it again, I can go back to the model tab and actually work in the model tab. So I've got lots of ways of navigating around. The nice thing about this though, is I can close the drawings that I don't want open. So drawing two, I don't need. That's a default drawing that can be closed. IEC contents, I'm going to close that one. Do I want to save the changes? Yes, I do. And the bill of materials, if I close that one there as well, do I want to save the changes? Yes, I do. So I now know that I've only got the one drawing open. So whenever you're working in AutoCAD Electrical, look across the top for the tabs. Now, I've got my drawing open, which is my PLC drawing, right? And what I need to do is start thinking about how I navigate the drawing itself. Moving through the drawings is very easy. I use the arrows, previous drawing, next drawing. Now we also have the surfer. It's a surfing tool to allow you to surf your components in your AutoCAD electrical projects. So let's go up to the surfer here. If I hover, it says surfs to related references of an item that you select. So you'll notice there, I can surf from one drawing to another. I can zoom in on components in a drawing. So let's have a look at that now. The surfer here, on the other tools panel, if I click there, I have the option of surfer or continue surfer. So what I might do there is I might surf to one point, zoom in, I might then need to surf to a next point instead of it just being a one-off. So I've got surfer and I've got continue. I'm just going to go to surfer in this instance. It then prompts me to select the tag for the surfer trace, or I can type it in and then press enter. I'm going to zoom in here. And you can see on my PLC there, I've got a forward cutting motor tag. Notice how that's jerky. My snap is on down here. That's because it comes on when you switch the surfer on, because you might have sequential lines that you need to snap to. So I'm going to select that tag there. And as soon as I do that, it gives me loads of information. It tells me all the references, the manufacturer, any catalog number. It also tells me sheet references, installation, location, and so on. I can scroll down that list as well. So you can see there, sheet reference five, four, four, and eight for all different parts of that motor. Now at the moment, we are already in drawing five. So what I can do here is I can zoom in to a particular instance of the circuit that relates to that motor. So I'm going to go four, three there, and I'm going to do zoom in. And what that does is it zooms in to that component. Can you see the screen change behind? If I keep zooming in, it keeps zooming in. What I can do there as well is I can select 04 like that and go to it. Do I want to save that drawing? Yes, I do. I'll save that drawing. It then opens up another drawing and takes me to drawing four, the relay that works with the forward cutting motor. How cool is that? I don't have to go and find the drawing with it in because I've linked that using the database behind the project and linking objects within the database in AutoCAD Electrical, 
I can actually move from one drawing to another, but using components rather than the arrows or the surfer. That is a very, very cool surfing tool. It allows you to move in and out of your drawings using the components and where they are on each drawing. I'm going to close that now. What I am going to do is double click on the wheel there and zoom extents and save that drawing like so. I'm going to open up 05 because when I did save it, I was zoomed right in. I'm going to double click there and zoom out and again save as well. That's a good habit to get into. Do a zoom extent before you save your drawing and close it. So there you go. That's moving around, moving between drawings in the project manager, going up and down in the drawing list, but also utilizing the surfer to move around on a component level inside your electrical drawings.